Hi, I'm Chef Rick Moon, and I'm just admiring this gorgeous piece of salmon. I'm going to prepare for you some beautiful sockeye salmon harvested in Alaska with a horseradish cream, smoked tea on the outside, and some cucumber salad. Unbelievable. So let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some tea. This tea is called Lapsang Suchong, and where it gets its smokiness from is it's dried out over smoldering uh, pine needles. So we're going to take this tea, its whole leaf, put it into a spice grinder just to break it up. Okay, take that out, put it in a bowl, add a little bit of salt. So now basically what you have is smoked salt made with, with, with your black tea. Okay, now we're going to season the sockeye salmon. Both sides. Now you can wrap this up, put it in your refrigerator for a good hour. It'll give that smokiness a chance to permeate the flesh of that sockeye salmon. Now let's make our horseradish cream. Creme fraiche. Add a little bit of horseradish. This is a fresh horseradish. Just take the, uh, squeeze it a little bit dry so it's not so wet if you're using prepared horseradish. Some Dijon mustard. Give it a little bit more kick. And lemon zest and lemon juice. And then we squeeze a little lemon juice in there. Okay, put some dill in there. So you mix that and let it sit. This is gonna bloom a little bit as it sits too, so that's perfect. Okay, now we're gonna make the cucumber salad. So peel the cucumber, slice them in half. So you just take a spoon and you scrape the seeds out of the center and we just slice the cucumbers. I cut them a little bigger than I want them to be because I'm gonna salt these. When you put salt on them, what happens is it starts to draw out the moisture, the, the, the liquid out of the, the cucumbers. It concentrates the flavor of the cucumber and it keeps it nice and crispy. So just add a little bit of salt. Well, actually a pretty good amount of salt and toss it. Okay, so you take that and you put it in a colander and you weigh it down. So I weigh it down with ice cubes in a Ziploc bag. And there you go. That's what it looks like in, after an hour of being weighed down. Add some, some red onion. A little bit of dill, pinch of sugar, and some rice wine vinegar, enough to cover it. So you just let that set for an hour to marinate. So this is ready to cook. The creme fraiche and uh, the horseradish cream has, has, has had a chance to marinate, and so are the cucumbers. So let's cook, let's cook this fish now. So just enough oil to lubricate the bottom of the pan, and then we add our salmon. Gently place that salmon in there. You want to hear that, that sear sound? That's perfect. It's going to sit here for about a minute to give it a chance to set. What I mean by that is it has a chance to start to caramelize. And then we're going to add butter to it and we're going to baste it. This fish will not be flipped over until the very, very end because I want that to caramelize. I want the flavor, the smokiness, everything to permeate that unbelievably gorgeous piece of fish. Put some uh, butter in it, a good amount of butter, enough that you can spoon over the top of the, uh, the sockeye salmon. Once you see that butter start to brown, start to baste over the top of the fish. So I'm just gonna leave that there while I start to plate up the final presentation. Okay. So you start off with your horseradish cream, put that right in the center of the plate. Move it around a little bit. Next, take your cucumber salad, place that in the very center. And then, last but certainly not least, the sockeye salmon. Dab it. That is absolute perfection on a plate. Sockeye salmon, smoked with tea, horseradish cream, cucumber salad. Wow, that's amazing. Enjoy.